Good morning, Texas. Text, tweet, repeat. How often do you get digitally distracted in a day? It can be hazardous to your health, too, and we're going to get answers from an expert. It's Thursday, January 3rd. What? I'm digitally distracted. Oh, and GMT starts right now. From WFAA TV, the spirit of Texas, this is Good Morning Texas in High Definition. Good morning, Texas, on this chilly Thursday morning. I'm Amy Vanderoff, and Greg Fields is here for... Greg, come on, Greg, stop, get off the phone. You're here for oh, a check of the me. weather today. Oh, hi, how you doing, Amy? <laughs> hey, I'm good. good. To see you. We're talking about digital distractions. How often have you been caught with your phone on camera? Mm. Ever? On camera, I don't think ever. On no? camera, I always try to, All right. when that light goes on, try to put the camera, but the phone away. Has it ever been like three, two, one? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. been, yeah. All right. Well, sure. well, we'll put our phones down. All right. We're going to check okay. out the weather. All right. Let's talk about okay. it. Are you digitally distracted? A new industry survey says almost 60% of work interruptions are digital. People waste over an hour a day at work, and two-thirds of workers will tune out during meetings and live telecasts, too, to connect digitally with someone else. Whoa! Watch where you're going. Are these devices created to make that are created to make our life easier actually creating more stress and more danger? Hey, watch out, Paige. Here with more is an expert. We welcome Dr. Walter Gammon to the show. Hi, Dr. Walter. You are just here in time. Obviously, <laughs> we're causing a lot of distractions here at our workplace and also some dangers. Are these devices an addiction? They can be an addiction, and in so many ways, they're so seductive. Yeah. Some people get that adrenaline rush. They get tweets and texts and emails, and, right. and they're playing games, and they get their latest move on words with friends. Yes, I know Paige never pays attention in meetings because you are always playing solitaire on your phone. I'm calling you out. <laughs> We've got the cell phone lockup jail here, guys. Dump your devices right now. Come on. Everyone, you're going to be text free for the next hour. iPads, iPhones. What, what kind of phone is that, Larry? That's the smallest phone I've ever seen. Is that a phone? Back at, no, no, no last messages, Shannon. No. To iPad, earpiece out of your ear, everything. We're locking you guys up. And I know they're going to go into a cold sweat because I think this is an addiction. It is an addiction. <laughs> it is go, an guys. addiction. You can't get them back now. Okay, so I would say that these phones, these devices that were created to make our life easier are actually making our lives more stressful in some ways. They are. They are. And I had an unbelievable uh, conversation with a patient just a week ago. I came into the exam room and he's playing on his iPad. He's playing a game. And he didn't, he just looked up, said hi, and kept playing his game. <laughs> and um, I said, do you you always play your game? He said, well, I find it very relaxing. He said, especially when my wife bugs me. You know, I just sort of ignore her and play my game, and I feel all relaxed. And, you know, I thought if we substituted whenever my wife bugs me, I have a shot of whiskey, and it relaxes me, we think, well, he's on the road to being an alcoholic. So this is the same way you can get right. addicted to these devices. Exactly. And so um, I, some people just say, I'm not addicted. I'm just bored. Is this because we have to fill every moment of our day? It's become that way, but there was a time where there weren't cell phones, there weren't iPads, and we actually talk to each other. <laughs> I know. Well, look at even in our workplace. I mean, people are tuning out from meetings and connecting with the person in front of them to connect digitally with someone else. And 60% of workers are saying, you know, they waste an hour a day doing these sorts of connections. I know, I know. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, what's the big deal? So I posted something to Facebook while I'm working. What's the big deal? I say, well, what if that was your nurse and you were a patient in the hospital <laughs> yeah. and she's about two minutes late to help you out when you're in pain? because she's posting something to Facebook. Right. You wouldn't like it. Okay, yeah, no, you wouldn't like it at all, especially when we talk about the dangers like that affecting someone's health. Um, we know the dangers of texting and driving, and too often I hear people say, but I'm really good at it. That's not the right answer at all. No, not at all. I mean, when you text and drive, it's just like you're under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, they say that you take about five or six seconds from uh, your eyes off the road with every text that you send. And how about texting and walking? We saw Paige just knock into a table over there, but we hear these people in New York City getting hit by taxi cabs. This is a real danger, too. Distraction is bad across the board. In fact, Amy, I had a patient come into the office with a broken ankle, and she was texting while walking in a parking lot of a well known store oh, and no. she tripped and broke her ankle and had to have surgery oh, on it. Oh my gosh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, this cell phone lockup is actually something that you can buy because you were given this as a present over the holidays, is that right? Yeah, 
Yes, in fact, my wife gave it to the family. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually talks. It says lock up your cell phone. So is this something you can implement in your home or workplace to say, you know, we're going to have a digital free meeting or a digital free dinner and we're going to lock up the phones? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we have family meetings and the kids would come to the table and they'd all be on their phones. From now on, we're going to put them in the cell phone lockup <laughs> and there's a timer on it and you can't get it before the time's up. Awesome. I love that so much. Okay, so obviously that's it's kind of funny and, and a funny gadget like this, but these addictions and things that cause added stress to our lives are real health issues that we need to look at. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Stress kills. Right. And you know, uh, be, at one time you would talk to someone. Now you're going to be talking, texting. You have an iPad. You're doing all these different things. Mm -hmm. It's too much stress on the body. I and know. physically, stress kills. It shortens your DNA and it shortens your life. Okay, we don't want shortened DNA. We don't want shortened lives. And actually, I have a big confession to make. I often text during the commercial breaks of this show. <laughs> True. My friends are like, how are you answering me right now? You're on live television. So I think that people squeeze everything into every moment they can. And the big takeaway here, Dr. Gammon, is that we can just put the devices down. Put it down. Reconnect. Take some downtime. Reconnect. Talk to people. Talk to people. A great resolution for 2013. Absolutely. All right. You guys, you can't get your phones back for another hour. I'm serious. <laughs> for a lot, except for mine's on the outside of the cage, if we've noticed. I have a key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do have I a key. I do have a key. That was very witty.